Okay guys, so today I'm just having a quick look at some bits power fittings uh, and the reason I'm doing this is because I get a lot of questions about water cooling systems. People building water cooling systems, what fittings should they get? Uh, and the main question is whether to go with compression fittings or uh, open barb fittings. Uh, and that, um, the answer to that question pretty much just comes down to price. But certainly the best fittings that I've ever used up to date is uh, Bits Power fittings uh, and the reason for that is they have the largest range they have all different colors they have fittings for basically everything what you see here is only a fraction of the fittings that they actually sell uh, and it's only actually two colors and, and they sell um, shining silver, true silver they have like gold fittings and red fittings, black fittings uh, and black sparkle fittings, which is what I always use. I like the black sparkle fittings the most. So, I just wanted to show you some of the fittings that, from my experience, um, are the most important fittings uh, in a water-cooled system. Um, now that's if you're going to go, as I said, go down the path of using compression fittings and, uh, you know, elbows and 90 degrees, all that. I mean, what these fittings allow you to do is use um, a lot less tubing and have less bends and kinks in your tubing. So, you know, they're a lot more necessary if you've got a, a complex water cooling system where you're, you've got tight spots um, where you can't, you know, bend the tubing all over the place. Okay, so what I have here, um, starting from the left hand side, this is a 90 degree uh, and it's a dual rotary fitting which means it uh, rotates in two places so you can see where my thumbnail goes to set it rotates uh, and it also rotates just here where my thumbnail is again. Have a look at performance PCs um, check out their website have a look at the range go to the bits power fitting section and have a look right through there and you'll just see um, how many fittings Bitspower has and, and that's not even in their full range um, okay so that's that fitting this is a 45 degree um, I'm pretty sure it, yeah it's a dual rotary fitting so again it rotates in in two spots actually I might have been wrong with this one I think it's a triple rotary so it also rotates here as well um, but anyway I'll just show you where that type of fitting can be used so it can just get you straight around a corner um, like that or it can be used like that um, and again like that so that gives you really a lot so of that's a, a single rotary 90 degree elbow fitting and you know that just keeps things close and more compact uh, you know you don't have to come up as far with a fitting like that for example um, up here on my ram water block I've used one uh, and then there where I needed more length I used the you know the triple rotary 90 degree actually that one is a dual rotary so that shows you the difference there between a dual rotary and a triple rotary so you can see the two places where it rotates and then on this end uh, there's no extra rotating part. The compression fitting just goes straight into it. Compression fitting, of course, the most important part as opposed to a open barb fitting. Basically, you know, an open barb fitting is pretty much just like that. Um, and then to hold the tubing on you have to use like a clip or a cable tie. Um, but with a compression fitting you you know you put that onto the tubing first and then you push the tubing onto here and then you do this up um, and it compresses the tubing and holds it on now they, the, the fittings actually come with black um, o-rings but I always replace my o-rings after I use the fittings so this fitting has already been used and I've yeah put a new blue o-ring on it um, so yeah that's the the o-ring that they actually come with 
So moving on, extension fittings can be extremely handy in a you know in a complex system. Uh, it's something else that I use quite a bit. So that is a 25 or 20 millimeter extension fitting. Uh, you can get I think 15 millimeter, 20, 25, 30, right up to 50 millimeters now. Um, and you know they're bringing out new fittings all the time so I'll show you where something like this can be used uh, and that goes for these as well this is a multi transfer coupler so it's you know to join two fittings together so that one and and this is a another good one to have you know male to male uh, and the multi transfer coupler is female to female so basically when you're designing a system you've just got to uh, figure out your tubing route um, and then you can decide uh, you know you can have a look at the range of bits power fittings uh, and you can decide what you will need to get you know, you know to uh, follow your tubing route okay so I've used extension fittings here um, this was back before they brought out the the um, 50 millimeter extension fittings and the longer extension fittings so I had to use a whole bunch of short ones okay so as well as the full range of colors and all the different types of fittings there's different sizes so when you're um, deciding on your size it's based on what size tubing are you going to use in your system uh, and I always use half inch tubing so tubing with a with a half inch uh, internal diameter and a three quarter inch external diameter. So when you're looking at the fittings, um, it'll have thread size, which these fittings are the most common size is quarter inch. You'll see ID and OD, um, OD being outer diameter and ID being internal diameter. Obviously the bigger the tubing is, the more flow you're gonna get. So you wanna go uh, for the biggest size tubing that you can um, but sometimes if you're going to have a very tight complex system for example some memory coolers uh, actually have an individual heatsink on each um, module of memory uh, and in a situation like that you're probably not going to get half inch tubing to each individual module and you'll have to use something smaller uh, so that's where the smaller sizes come into play Okay, so finally, I just wanted to show you um, another fitting that I have here. Um, now, you buy it in two parts. You buy the... Sorry, it's a bit out of focus. Um, you buy these two here. Uh, now, I've forgotten what they're called, but basically they've got two O-rings inside of them and a quarter-inch thread, and, and this is the black... Um, bits power color you know so they've got the whole range of fittings in this black color okay so then you got the this is the exact same fitting uh, and then this is called bits power crystal link um, so it's a hard plastic tube and it just slides into the the other fitting like that now this is an SLI or crossfire fitting so this goes between you know two water blocks uh, on graphics cards and I'll just show you, I've got the whole range of Bits Power Crystal Link here. Make sure you have a look at my PC water cooling guide episodes as well. I'll put a link up on the screen. Uh, I go into full detail on how to build a water cooling system and I also talk about um, the different types of fittings in those videos as well. Uh, yeah, not in this much detail, but it'll be a good idea to have a look at those. Now I've tried the others um, but I've certainly settled on Bits Power. They, they're definitely my favorite fitting uh, and for good reason. Um, for one the incredible range that they have but also because the quality is just incredible you know they are absolutely perfect. They look awesome, they work perfectly. I've never had a leak from any Bits Power fitting and I've never seen any defects, marks, um, yeah, out of all the systems that I've built, I've never had any kind of a problem with Bits Power fittings. 
So that sums up my review of Bits Power Fittings. Thanks for watching and please subscribe.